one second. Hello? I'm tired of these people calling me talking about they looking for Jesus. Bitch, do I sound like Jesus to you? and I am back with another video in today's video as you can tell by the title this is a lash and lip gloss inventory video so I'm gonna be pretty much showing y'all the new lashes that I have the new glosses that I have get into the new tools okay because do not play <laughs> do not play with my brand okay we back and we are better if you're a returning subscriber welcome back to the channel if you're new here Please go ahead and subscribe to the channel because it is lit over here, sis. Okay, we talk all things cosmetics, entrepreneurship, lifestyle, beauty. Okay, we do it all. All right, so go ahead and subscribe. Also, I do want to give a shout out to myself. We have made it to 500 subscribers. Let's go. I have not even been active on here and people are still subscribing to the channel. Do not play with me. That speaks a lot of value. But we are back um, in... Yeah, we're about to get right into it. Let me get my smoothie because I moved it out the way. Y'all, this thing is full. Like, you see the straw is coming out the straw. <laughs> it is extremely full. Um, I made me a smoothie. I'm trying to cleanse my colon right now. So, the only thing I've been ingesting, I guess, is just water and smoothies, okay? I've been on a very high-fiber diet. So, this is, um, what's in here? I have strawberries blueberries raspberries and um blackberries um and then i did put applesauce in here and i used almond milk to help me mix it so it's a little bit of everything up in here it's it's okay mm, it's okay i think maybe next time i won't do the applesauce but i've seen the recipe like this and I don't know. I'm not really a fan of applesauce inside of my smoothies. However, it is going to help me cleanse and detox my colon. So we about to just go with it. Um, I do want to show you guys my new lip gloss tubes. Okay. You see, Brianne Collections. Do not play with it. All right. Y'all see the logo printed on the tubes. No more stickers. And I do have it on my lips right now. This is my tube, y'all. That's why I had it off to the side. But I just want to show y'all what it's giving. Okay. My glasses are A1. Man. And it is vanilla scented. So it's a very light scent. You know, or whatever. So, anyways, um, I guess we can get into the glasses. So I've only filled, I'm going to come back with another video of me filling up the rest of my tubes because I definitely still have more tubes to fill. But so far I made um, my clear glosses. So we have the clear glosses on deck, okay? These are vanilla scented. And then, of course, we had to bring back strawberry kisses. So this is another clear gloss. It has strawberry pieces inside and it is strawberry scented. So this is a popular gloss that I have. Um, and then of course we had to bring back Rose Galore. It is another clear gloss with rose dry rose petals inside and this is peppermint flavored or peppermint scented, whatever. Um, and this is for healing. So this has, all of my glosses are made with coconut oil and this one has rose hip oil added in it okay so this is for like healing purposes which all my glosses are but i really pr promote this one for healing purposes because the added rose hip and then the rose petals so yeah these are just empty tubes so i'm definitely excited we got the wand tube y'all um if you've been here you've been following me for a while you've ever shopped with me you know that i used to do the squeeze tubes but this has always been my vision for a while and we finally executed, okay? So we finally have our wine tubes. Um, so yeah, this is about, how many tubes is this? 10, 20, 
this is 40 tubes right here 40 tubes and i have plenty more tubes to fill um second We're about to get into the lashes, sis. Now, so let me just explain. So I've been away from branding collections for a while because I have started up two other businesses that's ha that has kept me occupied, right? So I have my brandy properties business in which I'm an Airbnb host. So I host on the Airbnb platform. And then I have Hello Wealthy Woman that I just created, um at the top of this year um and she's pretty much everything credit and funding so i teach people how to repair their credit i even offer credit repair services and then i get funding for clients so that's what hello wealthy woman is i teach people how to use their credit to get funding and start businesses from scratch so those two businesses alone are a lot okay and then i still have brand and collection so I just, man, brand and collections kind of got a little overwhelming. And then with the other businesses, it was definitely overwhelming. And I just didn't have the mental space for it. Um, but brand and collections is my baby. She's not going nowhere. Um, I think what kind of made me stray away was there's so much that I want to do for brand and collections. Like I have this big vision for brand and collections and where I want to take her. So it's kind of like... I didn't want to keep doing the same thing, constantly going through rebrands. Like every time I had to restock, I would always feel like I needed to rebrand something. I needed to redo my boxes. I needed to add more lash styles. I needed to add this, add that. And with the glosses, it's like, oh, I need these different glosses. Like there was a point in time where I had like 12 different shades of glosses. That's OD, <laughs> mad OD. I guess what I'm trying to say is like, as I said, I have a huge vision for her and it's kind of like, I didn't want to just put anything out there. I didn't want to launch her again until I knew that I was sure of her vision. I was sure of exactly where I wanted to take her. I So for instance, like I have to figure out my brand, like these are my boxes now and I have old boxes in here. So, um... Which one was first? I think, I'm not even sure which box was first. Um, but we've gone through so many different boxes. So at a point in time, these were my boxes. You know, this is a paper box. And then at a point in time, this was my box. And then at a point in time, this was my box, which I love these boxes so much. And then now, this is my box. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it just took time for me to kind of figure out what I wanted my brand to be, how I wanted my brand to appear, and what I wanted to offer. Um, it's like, I feel like a lot of people wear cosmetics, but there's different types of people who wear cosmetics, if that makes sense. So I had to figure out who I wanted my target audience to be. And I wanted my brand to become more mature. And, you know, I offer the new glosses. So I offer new glosses, pinks and chocolates and stuff like that. Whereas back in the day, I was selling glitter glosses. You know, those for little girls. Don't know grown ass women wear little glitter gloss. At least in my opinion, I don't wear glitter gloss. Um, So, you know, and then I had like, a lot of different 25mm lash styles. Me as a grown woman, I honestly, and just in general, I've never been a 25mm kind of girl. Do I still offer those lash styles? Yes, but I kind of like, I just had to redo everything y'all. Cause I'm like, I don't want to target that kind of audience. I want to target women who work, you know, professional nine to fives or women like me who are just more calm, more laid back. And, you know, I don't care to wear no, super big lashes. I want to wear something that's more natural like these. So, you know, I had to figure all of that out. And again, like I say, I do still offer 25 mm lash styles. Like they won't go away. Um, but 
I mean, just look at the growth, y'all. Just look at the growth and how, you know, my business has matured. You know, we started here somewhere. I don't know which one was first. And then we came here. And I'm actually about to show y'all one of my first boxes ever. My first packaging. Give me a second. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So look, y'all. This is my first original package. <laughs> like, look at this. Like, I'm literally cringing. But you know you got to start somewhere. <laughs> but this is my first packaging ever. You see, I only had just a little sticker right there to brand myself. And then from there, um, we went to, I honestly cannot remember which box I went to first. I don't know if it was this one first or this one. Um, but I know that I had these for a long time. These were, I got these one time, they sold out and that was that. And then these, so I probably had these first and then these. Um, my customers probably could tell you better than I can. Okay, it's been a long run. It's been four years. We coming up on four years. But y'all, like, I wish I could hold every single package in my hand. And we did these at a point in time, and then now we're here, you know. And I absolutely love these boxes. I designed these boxes myself. Um, it's just real sleek, real simple, and I'm satisfied with this, you know. So, um, yeah, so I just had to figure out how I wanted to brand my business. Um, Cause we gotta stick to it. We can't keep changing stuff, keep changing logos, keep changing changing packages or, you know, you got to be, um, I don't know. Cause I feel like when you keep doing that, people will feel like you're unsure of yourself or you're unsure of your brand or like you don't really know what you're doing. So you gotta, you gotta find something and stick to it, okay? And this is what I want to grow. This is who Brownie Collections is. This is the vision that I see for her, and this is what we're going to stick to. So, um, but yeah, so that's why I've been gone for a long time, just because I'm just trying to figure out, well, I know now, but I was in the process of trying to figure out how I wanted to represent this business. Um, so again, like I said, I have smaller lash styles now for, you know, my grown women. And when I first started this business, Four years ago, how old was I? I was 22. I started the summer before my 22nd birthday. So I was 21 when I started this business. I would be 26 years old this year, y'all. Like, when I tell you my mindset is I'm a grown-ass woman now, okay? At 21 years old, I was, you know what I'm saying? My mindset is just completely different, okay? I'm a completely different person. So, but this is what it is now. And, um, yeah, so that's pretty much Briani collections. I mean, I showed y'all the tubes of what we're going to be selling now. Um, and then I showed y'all the glue pens a little bit, you know. And we have the shorter lash styles. Um, I'm trying to see if I should show y'all every single lash style. Um, let's see. I'm going to show y'all whatever's in here. Um, so these are some 25 mm lash styles that I have. And I don't know if y'all can tell. I don't think y'all gonna be able to tell. But this one is, it has like a pink highlight. And this one has a white highlight. I don't think y'all gonna be able to see. You can kind of see it a little bit. And then this one has a pink highlight. Y'all see it a little bit? Um. So, you know, I have like these lash styles. Um... And then, I believe I only have four different pairs of 25mm lash styles. These are OGs. So, we have Hot Girl and Big Old Freak. These are OGs. OGs, OGs, OGs. Okay, so I had to bring these back because I have a lot of customers, a lot of clients who love these. One second. Hello? I'm tired of these people calling me talking about they looking for Jesus. Bitch, do I sound like Jesus to you? Anyways, so, <laughs> so we have those. Um, and then I do have, let's see, I have these two lash styles, which these look, are these the same ones? These given, um, these the same lash style. Let's see. These look 
the same. Okay, these look different. I think I just probably mixed up the sides. But I have these lash styles. Super cute, simple, you know. Which I gotta come up with names for these. Um, because I have no clue what I'm gonna name these lash styles. These are actually new. I've never sold these before. Um so we got those and then these other two are new as well. Um these two are new. And I'm trying to see, do y'all think I should keep the package the plastic on these or should I just take it off? I think I'm end up taking it off, you know what I mean? Um but yeah y'all like i'm about to show y'all these other two lash styles and then i'm actually going to end this video because i don't want it to be too long um but we have gold digger injustice these are ogs we got these coming um and then i'm gonna show y'all i'm not gonna get into the rest of these lashes y'all i have so many different lash styles um this video is already long enough and I don't want to keep y'all waiting all this time. But pretty much that's just the explanation of where I've been. Um, I showed y'all the new inventory um, as far as like my new packaging, my new lip gloss tubes, um, my glue pens and things like that. Um, but yeah, I think the next video is going to be... I don't know if it's going to be a lip gloss filling video or me labeling my lashes because I do have to get these labeled. I don't know where I'm going to put the name of them, maybe like right here or something and then close it up. Um, but y'all, I just love these boxes so much, like real, real bad. Okay, real bad. I love them. I love them so much. So um, anyways, that will be the end of today's video. Um, Thank y'all so much for tuning into this video. I greatly appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one.